An educational software is a program that provides learning for the user. It is beneficial for both students and teachers alike. This is a software evaluation on Team Umizoomi's Aquarium Adventure found on Nick Jr.'s website. This software is free and web-based. This software provides for concrete sound feedback by guiding the user to click play. The button also moves. The age appropriateness for this software is age 4 because it enables children to develop their cognition through aspects such as number sense enumeration, patterning, and geometry, which are found in the full day early learning kindergarten program. These aspects are se seen within its four levels. The first three levels have three sub-levels and the fourth level is a free play level. Throughout the levels, the user is unable to skip through levels or return to the previous level. The user is able to navigate to the home screen at any time. This button is located to the left of the screen. As soon as you click on the game, it warmly greets you and gives you a full scenario of what the game is about. The user is able to skip this introduction. Level 1, you're asked to fill the aquarium with sea creatures for the opening of the new aquarium by using your mighty math powers to find the difference between the three sea creatures. Before you click on the sea creature, you have to wait for the character to complete the sentence. Once you have found a different sea creature, you click on it to pick it up and click on it again to drop it into the tank. An example in the last sub, sub level of level 1, there's an option to find a difference between the three sea creatures that have, that have a certain pattern on them. This relates back to the fact that this software develops cognition in four years old through the pattern aspects of mathematics, found in the full day learning kindergarten program. If you have answered correctly, the character repeats the pattern on the sea creatures in the sequence to what it appears in. When the user answers correctly, they are given possible feedback by the character. If you answer incorrectly, the software allows for self-correction. The characters tell the user in a pleasant way that they have made a mistake and tell them to try again. There is an unlimited amount of time for the user to correct themselves. The character then describes what the user needs to find. If you still cannot find the answer, it gives children a hint by briefly enlightening up the right answer if the user keeps getting it wrong. The positive feedback fosters motivation through praise. An example of feedback is Umu Griffith. This, this, there's, there's also a sound feedback. It is presented in an audible feedback as a chime noise is made each time a child answers correctly. drop it into the tank. This level also uses self-correcting techniques, 
positive feedback and sound feedback like, like in level one. Throughout the game, the user is able to navigate to the home screen by clicking this button. This level enables the user to find the specific numbers of sea creatures the character asks for. These sea creatures are in groupings. Once again, the user needs to click on the sea creature, move it to the tank, and click again to drop it into the tank. This level also uses self-corrected techniques, positive feedback, and sound feedback like the previous levels. This level enables children to have choice. They can fill the aquarium with sea creatures using the purple tab, and the characters using the pink tab, and they can change the background using the blue tab. Using the magnifying glass, the user can magnify or minimize the characters or sea creatures to their preference. Using the video camera image, they can also animate the characters and sea creatures. The green trash can enables the user to delete images they have put in the aquarium. When the user has finished their aquarium, they can click on the done arrow, which will take them to a screen that asks if they are done decorating the aquarium. If you click yes, the characters praise your tank. The option to print or play again show up. If you click play again, it allows you to choose to play the entire game again or just level four. Your tank is looking good. Why, Gizmos? Your tank is looking good. Good job. Make the sea creatures or us bigger or smaller. Make the sea creatures or us bigger or smaller. in getting Team Umizumi's Aquarium Venture into classrooms are having sufficient amount of computers and internet access since the software is web-based. Since there is no option to mute the game or website, headphones are required in the classrooms. To get to the game, a child would first have to skip advertisements. These advertisements are unwanted and should, be, and should not be put on a kid's game because it's distracting and could lead children to another portion of the website. The viewing area of the software should be larger because the background just serves as a distraction with the advertisements. There should be no op there should be option to maximize the viewing area by adding a back button option would be a great idea for children because they can go back if they want to repeat or practice a certain level. The game is not inclusive to children who are hearing impaired. They should have an option for written instructions in order to accommodate for those children with hearing impairments. The game also made some gender affiliations with the clothing the characters wore. The boys wore blue and the girls wore pink. They should have the characters in, norm in more neutral colors so children can identify with both. Other than these few modifications, this game is excellent for children that are age 4 years old. <laughs>